From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In tonight's recording, we go over the $3.5 trillion recon that passed, and they'll pay viewers on this channel an average of about $15,000. Plus the number one hazard pay and the provision to add in $25,000 on top of that. Plus the number two home repairs and the provision to add in $250 billion on top of that for seniors. Plus the number three more money for seniors and then the provision to be added on top of that MSC. We go over all the dramatics that's unfolding across the board, then the details no one saw coming. Boy, this is big, as a potential deal is in the works with Joe Manchin. Then, a more student loan debt forgiven. Then, the surprise of Cola coming in at five to six percent. It's a big night with a lot of details starting this evening. Then we turn to the big exciting details of this stimulus, which has another two more lifts on top of that. As we go into a big, bold, beautiful evening from Santa Monica, we also have one viewer getting $36,000 this week. I'm going to show you how to get these big sums of money. We have a deal in the works for the recon, and we're going to show you all the three parts of where they're doing the deal. The toast was toasting this morning, but tonight it's still toasting because it's a little warm here in Southern California. Hope the weather's good where you are. It's heating up because it's evenings out. evening and thank you for joining me on this special broadcast of evenings la where we have incredible great news about your 3.5 trillion dollar recon it has cluster after cluster of checks in their past three of the clusters that would pay you upwards of about fifteen thousand dollars in this recon but what are those clusters and how do they work well we start with uh, the total payout of this recon that would be upwards of $15,000. Then we have all the incredible clusters. One that has childcare money, two that has home pair money, and then three that is money for seniors. Plus the add-on of $15,000, the add-on of $250,000, and the add-on of those monthly stimulus checks. We have the surprise that no one saw coming with a deal in the works for uh, Joe Manchin. Student loan debt forgiveness heating up, and then the surprise of the cola raises. Wow, what is a big <laughs> night it is upon us. So much happening across the board, and the excitement starting right here, and it's starting right now as an evening unfolds, and it starts this evening here on Ally. Boy, what a day it is. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. We got a big night tonight. A lot of breaking news. A lot of developing details. The latest from Pelosi, Jayalapal, and Steady Hoyer. And of course, Bernie and also Alex Padilla here in California, the senator. A lot of baking details about that recon tonight, so subscribe, like the video, and consider becoming a member. Stay with us as this video next takes you to Evening's Countdown, our hit show that starts at 6 o'clock right after this. And then tonight at 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11.30 are all shows about four stimulus all the way into tomorrow morning at 4 a.m.'s early mornings LA. When we look at this recon, it's important to remember that it's for everyone. It's for single individuals, married couples, SSI, SSDI, seniors, young people. Everyone qualifies, red and blue states. And the average view of this channel will qualify for about $15,000 for the money in this recon. As soon as it becomes law, I will show you how to get this money. But this is the excitement across the board. Cluster number one, we're going to start with pass, hazard pay, and $4,000 of elder care. What is this? First, they got hazard pay in there. Brought in the earned income tax credit so more people qualify for it and increase the amount of money for those essential workers. They got up to $4,000 a year for elder care, up to $4,000 a year for young children's care as well. They got free money in this first cluster.
cost to repair your home. Wow. If the home is in the low-income community, yes, free money to repair the home. Then they got money for college students, grants to the universities, grants to you, and also the Pell's grant made tax-free. $51,000 a monthly stimulus checks got in there as well. The CTC broadened the eligibility and increasing the payout. So how much is this? Up to $300 every month, every year. Up to 18 years of that family's low income, that's $51,000 per child. They got money in there for bikes, cars and trucks, all electric, all U.S. auto manufactured. Wow. There we go. That is starts with $7,500 for the new electric vehicle, personal use, a little bit more for business use, and a little bit more for truck, and then 15% for the purchase of a new electric bike all U.S. and all auto manufactured. That is the first cluster, but let's turn to the first add-on that is $25,000. Maxine Waters, the illustrious legislator here from Los Angeles, your House representative, has introduced legislation that would give you $25,000 of hard, cold cash. What is this for? The purchase of your first home. How would they do this? Likely in escrow, when you're about to close on the sale of the home, the federal government would give $25,000 in your name to the seller. Wow, incredible great news. As one person said in the live chat on Mornings LA today, any person at any age can be qualified as a first-time home buyer. Never bought a home until 60 years of age. This may be your big opportunity. Now let's turn to the second cluster checks that pass and it includes more home repairs and it also includes paid leave. Let's turn to it. They got paid family and medical leave. That How much is that? A lot. Up to $1,700 a week, $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. Split in half, $800 a week if you make $35,000 a year, $400 a week if you make $15,000 a year. Paid family leave, you have to stay home because your son is because your wife is pregnant. Paid medical leave, you have to stay home because your son broke his leg. They got child care programs in their household tax credits. They got money for seniors like dental vision. Watch for the third cluster. I go that over that as well. And then they got pre-kindergarten totally free and tuition-free community college. Meantime, in the second cluster, they got home repairs. Yes, weatherizing your home for any community, so long as you qualify for that weatherizing your home. This is huge. Because there's always a time and need to weatherize your home, especially before the moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> As I always say, weatherize your home to keep the moderate Democrats out of the House and wherever possible, keep them out of the Senate. <laughs> there we go. That's the second cluster of checks. Now, someone's proposed a second add-on. And who is it? Senator Bob Casey. Bob Casey has proposed a massive add-on, and how much is it? $250 billion that's being proposed to be added to this recon. And what is it for? You, if you're a senior, if you're on disability. What is this for? Things like home health care. The concept is very simple. Casey, who's a 61-year-old Democrat from Pennsylvania, looks at home health care and sees that a lot of people are unable to afford it, can't afford it, so they have their son and daughter leave work no longer work, no longer make a paycheck, and stay home and take care of their parents. He has a solution. Give big money to the states so the states can give you a licensed professional for home health care, totally free to you if you're senior or on disability. And now your son and daughter won't have to stay home from work and can go make an income and go to work, alleviating sh labor shortages and also giving you big benefits across the board. And as we turn to the third cluster, we got a big exclusive, and guess who that comes from? Also, Bob Casey. Third cluster checks include checks for seniors and free internet. Let's go over them. Free school meals for all checks. Checks for cheaper prescription medication. Checks for farmers. Checks for elections. Checks for, cl uh, for free internet. Checks for clean energy. Checks for workers like independent contractors. And checks for seniors like dental, vision, and hearing care. And lowering the eligibility age of Medicare. That brings us to a world exclusive. And it comes again from Bob Casey. Bob Casey is reportedly looking to drop the Medicare eligibility age from 65 to 60, this channel can report. Wow, that is big. And of course, Bob Casey is the 61-year-old Democrat out of Pennsylvania. There you go. Three clusters of checks passed in a subcommittee, House, that valued at about $15,000 a viewer, with Maxine Waters looking to add $25,000 of free uh, to purchase of a, a new home, the first your first home. Second, Bob Casey looking to provide $250 billion for seniors and people on SSDI. And then comes our third add-on, which of course, MSC. 
MSC, and that comes with the big news that Chuck Schumer wants you to have a monthly stimulus check. When we look at all these three recons, it's important to understand how they add things to them. How do they add them to them? Three opportunities. The first two are the House, and the second one is the Senate. The $3.5 trillion recon is not a bill. It's not on the House floor. It's in something before the House floor, which is called the House Subcommittee, below the House. And it's not a bill. It's just a package. They can add stuff in there. So they can add any of these three add-ons to the recon before it becomes a bill. Then once it becomes a House bill, if it doesn't still have it in there, they can add it in there then as well. Then when the vote, then when they have a bill, but before they call the vote on the bill, or, or then they can add it in there right before they call the vote. Finally, the most important place to, to add it in there, of course, is the Senate. During a two-day event called the Voterama. The Voterama, I mean, you've seen it. It had that very um, psychedelic tie-dye tie shirt and the, uh, the VW bug bus, you know. You've seen <laughs> No, the, the voter rob is a two-day event in the Senate. The two-day event in the Senate, it sort of sounds like a disco event, but it's actually a voting a voting day. In two days in the Senate, they, they take whatever's given to them from the House, and they add changes to them. Those changes are called amendments. Who's in charge of the voter rob? Chuck Schumer. Who determines when things are called during the vote during the voter rob? Chuck Schumer. Who um, determines what's called for vote and what things are added and amended? Chuck Schumer. Whose staff has told viewers twice in the last seven days he wants to add a monthly stimulus check? Chuck Schumer. And who determines what they wear to the Votorama and what they eat? Mitch McConnell. <laughs> he just has all those bell-bottom jeans and the psychedelic tie-dye tie shirts. He just, he's been wearing them every year since the 1970s. <laughs> Sorry, he, he just loves the Votorama. Yeah, and he just don't have him serve lobster before they vote, please. Uh, there you go. That's that's how they get it done. Meantime, as we go into a big weekend, we have the incredible statement that came from uh, the top legislator. And that top legislator in uh, the Senate, his chief of staff, delivers this message. The message is that LH viewers have now delivered $3 million calls of advocacy for inclusion of a monthly stimulus check. The message you're seeing on air is communicated by a viewer to me from the chief of staff, chief of staff, the number one person in the office to the number one legislator for your reconciliation uh, package. And that message reads as following. They now have in total between congressional and senatorial offices received more contacts of advocacy from L8 than the number of signatures in the American petition. Wow. American Petition is 2.9. That means we're at 3 million. Keep on pushing, people. Everyone is amazed by the outpouring of touching stories from L8 viewers. They now have more from L8 than what has been called a bunch of signatures for the American Petition. And a better understanding because of L8 how the Americans are trying to make it through the pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories from L8 viewers and that they have the voice of the people LA across the nation that has become too loud to ignore. And then a personal message included in there for me, from that chief of staff to me, and what does it say in the final sentence? The message says in the final sentence the following, please LA continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy. As you are the professional voice, LA, to the people you have become until this becomes law. What a very kind message. And again, the message to you is to continue to advocate. Advocate to her over the finish line. But boy, we got a big second half of this video and a supersized Evenings LA show tonight. A potential deal with Joe Manchin. I'll go over this huge developing detail you're only going to see on this channel and one print media. A potential deal with Joe Manchin with a recon. Number two, a uh, more student loan debt forgiven and one viewer finds out live on air that his debt has been forgiven. What an incredible story. And then we have Cola going up. But it's not the only time your benefits are going to go up. They're going to go up to potentially two other times right after that. And then I'll show you how one viewer got $36,000 this week, and you can as well. Those details and more are coming up in the second half of the Super Size Evenings LA with a lot of breaking news. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, 
mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now, direct from Santa Monica, as Evenings LA continues. we got a big second half of this recording and a lot of breaking news that people did not see coming. First, we have the exciting details of a potential deal with Joe Manchin. Wow, I'll have the latest details on that in this recording. Then we have a student loan debt forgiven, more than we initially thought. And then a big cola raise. Wow, this is huge. Going up 5 to 6%. I have all the latest details in tonight's recording. But what's important to remember is that as we go into a big night, we also have big exciting details of a potential deal in the recon, how to get that price point lower. One viewer getting $36,000 for third stimulus. And then I'm going to show you why fifth stimulus is so wonderful because it's going on top of that cola raise. Wow. A big second half of this video, and it's all starting right now. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video and become a member. Meantime, coming up next is Evening's Countdown, our new hit show. It's at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time nightly. Then, I'm very excited because it's 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11.30 all tonight are shows about for stimulus. Every hour on the hour. And then they continue tomorrow morning at 3 and 3.30 all the way into early mornings LA at 4. Let's turn to the big surprising announcement that came from the president this week. The president announcing that more student loan debt has been forgiven. How did this happen and what is issue? No one saw this coming and this is a biggie. The biggie is the following. That student loan debt has now been forgiven for a new group of people. Who is it? Let's go over all the details. Several weeks ago, the president had, forgiven, had forgave student loan debt for individuals who had become disabled after graduation. Their debt's forgiven. This week, the president added two other groups. First, individuals who went into the nonprofit sector for 10 years after graduation. Your debts are now forgiven due to the president's order this week. Second, the president has now forgiven student loan debts of individuals who went into public sector work for 10 years after graduation. This is you if you went into work for the city, the county, the state, the federal government for 10 years after graduation. You're a sanitation worker. You're a public school teacher. You work at the post office. You work at public department of building and safety. This is you. And boy, one viewer had a big surprise. One viewer on Mornings, LA, Mornings Countdown yesterday was in the live chat and said, I've been a federal prison employee guard for 10 years since graduation. It's actually been 20 years since graduation. Do I qualify? And I said, yes, sir, you do. At that point, that viewer had learned that he had accidentally looked upon this video and found the video and realized his debts were now forgiven. What an incredible story for someone who just happened to find this channel and learn that his massive financial debts from college had been forgiven and did not even know it. There you go. Meantime, the big surprise is, and you're only going to hear this on this channel and one print media, is a potential deal in the works with Joe Manchin. Wow, this is huge. There are three parts of the recon that need to be changed to get the moderate Democrats to agree to. One, reduce the price tag from $3.5 trillion to something quite lower, like $2 trillion. That can be done. It's very easy. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Number two, change the prescription medication language for Kristen Sinema. She doesn't like it. That can get done. And number three, change the climate language. And guess what? 
The White House seems to have inked this deal. Unbeknownst to anyone, until it leaked on Friday, the White House appears to have gotten a deal, potentially with Joe Manchin, on the language about climate in the recon. What is going on? Here's what's at issue. If you go to Joe Manchin's social media platform, he talks a lot about climate. He talks about uh, his state and climate. When I say the word climate, <laughs> I'm not referring to it's blue in the sky and there's a lot of snow tomorrow. That's not the type of climate. I'm referring to coal, clean energy, fossil fuels. And Joe Manchin has a few industries in his state that are big industries. And those big industries are some of his biggest constituents and the biggest providers to you know any re-election campaign or anything like that. Those industries now are the focal point of the White House administration. What did the White House do? Brilliant move. The White House has looked at some of the provisions that are in the three clusters that have passed of that $3.5 trillion recon that concern climate and has come up with the idea to modify the language to allow Joe Manchin's industries in his state to be able to qualify for this massive infusion of billions of dollars. Wow. Let's go over the details. So the White House has now considered making changes to the language of the past provisions of the recon so that coal and natural gas power plants could receive billions of dollars of financial aid from this recon, making fossil fuel providers in Joe Manchin's home state now eligible for this billions and billions of dollars. Wow, this is a brilliant move and a very smart move. How can Manchin not agree to this? It seems sort of very obvious. You have uh, several industries that are very big in your state, bigger than anything else, and they would now qualify from billions of dollars, one of the biggest payouts of any type of relief since the pandemic started, in this provision, in the recon, which the White House is modifying just for those industries. This is about a no-brainer as a no-brainer can be get the money where it belongs, and get that person on board. Wow, this is a game changer. Now, what's also very important to understand is that as you go into a new week, there also is a way to get the price tag of the recon agreed to as well. Let's go over that detail right now. That price tag is absolutely incredible, and the way they're doing it is duration. It was over the last few weeks where I talked about a lot of provisions in this recon, and sometimes I said, I think, and sometimes I said, I speculate, and sometimes I said, well, maybe that's really the case. Well, now we know a lot of the stuff that I've been reporting, almost, actually, all the stuff that I've been reporting has been exclusive. Unbeknownst to me, I had exactly the dates down when I said them. Let's go back. In July, before we had a recon, Bernie Sanders went into the negotiations asking for $7 trillion for programs running some duration. I said, I think Bernie's asking for 20-year programs. We now know that was the case. I, we now know that my speculation was actually correct. They was asking for 20 years. Why 20 years? Because the president wanted the programs to run many generations. He wanted to say, I was left a long-lasting imprint on the American population far after I left this planet with programs that are going to run for many, many decades. It didn't happen. The Democrats said, I'm not doing $7 trillion. Let's do $3.5 trillion. And at the time, Bernie said, I cut the duration of how long the programs ran. I then said, I think he cut it to 10 years, but it's not very clear. While well, going into the weekend, Jayalapal confirmed my reporting that the programs were are now at 10 trillion at 10 years at 3.5 trillion. They're now 10-year programs at 3.5 trillion. So that brings us up to the present. Last two weeks ago, I said the way you get 3.5 trillion to something smaller, cut the program durations from 10 years to five years. Keep the programs at 100%. Keep them in there. Pay them out a big sims of money. Just cut the programs in shorter durations. By the end of last, by the end of two weeks ago, Jalapal said, do the same thing. This week on Tuesday, Pelosi said there's two ways to do this. And one of the ways is to cut the duration. And then Jalapal going into the weekend said, it's important to get big sums of money out there. We'll just cut the duration. Wow. There you go. So let me show you how this practically looks, and then we'll go over some of the quotes. How does this practically look? It looks the following. When we talk about $4,000 of elder care, the whole program is going to be in there. The whole program is going to pay off $4,000. They, they are not going to take out the program. They're not going to water down the program so that you get $200 a year or $1.50. It's going to be a full $4,000. 
here is why this was important. You need this year to get big checks really quickly right now. You need next year to get big checks really quickly right then. And then maybe one other year at least, you need at least three really good year of checks to get you back to like a 2017 or a 2018 economy. We don't really need to focus on where you are 10 years from now. Uh, by 10 years from now, things are going to be totally different. We don't even have to focus on how you're going to be from eight years from now. The focus is how you get back to where you were building this country back better and getting it back to better right away. One, two years right back so you're back to normal. Not just little drizzles of money slowly over duration. Big in cash infusions, big checks in your hand. That's what everyone said this weekend. They also said that really climate is key. And this is big because remember, Joe Manchin says climate is the battleground of the recon. It's not the 3.5 trillion is easy. They can get that to 2 trillion. It's the climate, change the language. So everyone says we're keeping climate in there. Just change the climate and we're done. <laughs> Let's go over the quotes. So here are the quotes. Um, jo uh, uh, Casey said the reason why these things are important is because we really haven't done these things in 40 years. Pelosi said that um, that the way you get it is shortening the duration. And Jayalapal had this absolutely incredible quote. We would rather reduce the number of years the program runs because the universality of the benefits and the immediacy of the benefits are absolutely critical. And frankly, it's more important to us than having the programs run for 10 years. There you go. Exactly what I said, exactly what Pelosi said. We're all on the same page. Jai Alpal continues, says, we're happy to see the Speaker Pelosi say something similar to this in a press conference. She said exactly the same thing. A Senny Hoyer, Majority Leader of the House, said, it's not about just one person doing this. We all got to do it. Absolutely. And then Pelosi absolutely becoming the big advocate for the recon out of nowhere. She said, the recon will get done because the recon must get done. Wow. And then uh, she and Alex Padilla talks about climate. She said central to the recon is the climate part of this legislation. We have no choice but to make this decision because we need to have it. We need it in terms of climate. Big. So we now see the battleground is the climate provision, modifying that for Joe Ban Manchin, and we have to have climate. Hence, we have to have a recon. And Alex Padilla, California Democrat who replaced Harris with her senatorial seat, he says no climate. No recon, no deal. I love it. Absolutely incredible. So to recap, we got three things to do. Modify the language on the prescription medication for Sinema. Not a big thing. Number two, modify the language for the climate on Joe Manchin's side. Not a big thing now with that big, big, great idea coming from the White House. And then reducing the recon to shorter duration of programs like five years. Brings the recon into the low twos, maybe high for one trillion. Done. This is looking very, very good. And now let's turn to something that's equally really good. Uh, it's just surprisingly great. I did not even think that I would ever be saying something like this. Is this cola? Five to six percent? Yeah. I mean, who would have thought this was coming? So Social Security Administration this week announced that your cola raises, its cola is going up five to six percent. Wow. This is a biggie. Um, what's going on? I'm going to explain to you COLA. I'm going to explain to you fifth stimulus. I'm going to explain to you fourth stimulus. And I'm explaining to you all this in the same context. What's important to start with is we have to put fourth stimulus aside before we look at this. I know it can be confusing because we just went over all these benefits for seniors under fourth stimulus. We went over the Bob Casey money added in there being proposed to be added to fourth stimulus for seniors. I know there's a lot of money for seniors. Sort of put that aside so it doesn't confuse what we're going to talk about right now. We're going to talk about COLA, and we're talking about this stimulus, which is the SSI and SSDI reform coming after COLA. So the way it works is we were is your benefits step up every year based upon a benchmark. If the benchmark is one per, is a is a positive number. COLA has been a horrible number for many, many years, so it's been zero. So every year you get a check, and it's, oh, it's the same check as I got last year because COLA was zero. Well, Fistimus looks to replace COLA. In July, when I was recording Fistimus videos, you know what I was saying? You heard what I was saying, that I thought inflation by December would go to 5%. Wall Street is looking at 2%. Federal Reserve was looking at 1%. Now, 
I'm on the low end. <laughs> I was saying 5% then. And I said, if you got 5% raise up from, uh, from inflation, that would be great. Now you're getting almost 6% raise up from COLA. Why this happened? Because inflation is much higher than even I predicted. Inflation may be going to 10%. And that is on top of Wall Street thinking that was only 3%. So how is this going to work? Let me explain all the details starting with you right now. One, your benefits will be going up in the next few weeks based upon COLA, which is existing law, 5 to 6%. This is you if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, or Veterans Benefits. This is huge, 5 to 6%. There's always someone who doesn't understand my language, and they hear me say, in a f it will be going up. they like, oh, in 20 minutes it's going up? <laughs> no, I mean in a few weeks it's going up. Uh, so COLA will be going up. you got to take that community college class, LA 101. Uh, just, what is he saying? They just talk really funny out there. Will be going up. Doesn't mean, you know, by the end of this video it's going up. It's just, you know, in, in a few weeks it's going up. COLA is going up 5 to 6%. But that's not the only time your benefits are going up. If this stimulus gets passed, your benefits will go up two more times in the next 12 months. <gasps> what? Yeah, let me go over all the details of that starting right now. This stimulus raises your benefits up additionally a second time, another time. If you're on SSI, SDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, then it applies a new benchmark. And that new benchmark, if this becomes law, let's say Fistimus becomes law in February, would be next fall. And that new benchmark is inflation. Where's inflation going? It's going up. And it ain't coming back down to zero. So let's go over the analysis of this. COLA's going up now in the next few weeks. Then, if Fistimus becomes law, let's say in February of next year, you'll go up a second time. You'll be lifted up again. So first you get lifted up under fists under COLA, then you get lifted up again when fist stimulus becomes law. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Rural Benefits, then you'll be lifted up a third time. And that third time will be in December, approximately next year. Because inflation is not going to be zero. It's going to be 1% to 2%, maybe 3% next year. You'll go up a third, third time. Wow. They're all cumulative. It's not one or the other. It's one, then another, and then another. Three potential lifts in one year if this stimulus gets passed. Incredible news. Then they're going to remove the other items like asset cap. The asset cap is going to go away. That's huge. This is absolutely astronomical. The asset cap will be removed. So you will now be able to keep more than $3,000 on hand and no longer fear loss of benefits. The marriage penalty is going to go away, but the income cap is going to go, go away. Now you'll be able to work and no longer fear loss of benefits. People, the income cap will be eliminated from the 1960s provision. Finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. Love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear loss of benefits. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear the marriage penalty and do a pair dance at their wedding. That is this stimulus. Meantime, let's turn to the shocker. And it's not a shocker if you're a viewer of this channel, but it's even a shocker for me because of so much. One viewer getting $36,000 this last week after getting $51,000 from this channel before. Oh my goodness. Let's go over all the details. But let's first start with Prina. Where is she? There's Prina. Prina, you met a week ago. Prina two weeks ago, starting with viewing this channel with $0. She ended the week at $6,000. How'd she do it? She heard what I said. I had said on camera, if, you, uh, if you're a member, grab that newsletter, open it, and read the part where it talks about the money from Treasury, the additional $13 billion for rent, and reach out and get it from your city, county, and states, that money, because it won't be there forever. And she did, and she got $6,000. I want to thank you, Ally, so much. When you mentioned that extra $13 billion for this going out automatically to cities and county and states, I instantly pounced and contacted the city of Austin. I got approved $6,000 of rent for eight months to January 2022. Thank you so much. It is incredible. I now have $6,000 for eight months. <laughs> Boy, what a great story from Brina. But I can top that because you met Mark. He got $51,000 for the channel. Well, guess what? He got an additional $36,000 this week. What? <laughs> yes. Get ready with that pen and paper because I'm going to show you how to get some money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, clothing, food, and, and more. 
and it starts right now. And we're going to reach out to six places. Each place has different eligibility. They also have their own pots of money. Listen to the six places detail in this video. Then get ready for those nonprofits. And finally, get ready for those keywords I say in this video. Are you ready? Here are the six places you're going to reach out to for rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. Your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. Your state hall, and your state house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. And there you go. And here are the numbers that people are getting for rent. And boy, have they gone up. It was a month ago that Nisi got 20000 Elizabeth 27000 There's Mark at 25000 Mark got $36,000 more. So now the numbers have gone up to almost $50,000. Go get those sums of money. If you on this list, go get more money. Just like Mark, I said, go get more money. Everyone on this channel is going out and going, go get more money. Do it right today. Then the big surprise is the utilities. If you got five utilities, reach out to all five. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000. Snap. Have you gotten Snap? You need to. <laughs> Snap is money for food. You get it from the Department of Agriculture. Average payment is going up. How much? Average a 25%, a lifetime, automatically, nationwide, starting in October. Wow. Snap is money for food. You get from the Department of Agriculture, and Mark's brother-in-law is going to be getting $26,000 a year because of this channel. Finally, get multiple sums of money. Here you go. One, two, or three. Here's Mark at $51,000. He's now at $90,000. Here is uh, Lorraine, who's at one hundred five. dollars then. She's at one twenty. Pick up the phone and get these big sums of money. Now, let's turn to the nonprofits. Got that pen paper still ready? Here we go. We get over five nonprofits. Now, I've been doing these, these videos for you know, over a year, and fall of last year, it was the thick of the pandemic. It was hard to get rent then, but it was available everywhere. And then there was people that said, ah, I can't find it. I, it doesn't, no, they didn't say I can't find it. They said, uh, it doesn't exist. Well, this week, there's always someone that says, it doesn't exist because I spoke to my sister's brother's neighbor's hog washer, uh, cow groomer, um, calcino, scarf, miller, ventriloquist. <laughs> ventriloquist? Yeah, and what did the ventriloquist say? That there's no money available. Stop listening to the ventriloquist. I thought ventriloquists don't talk. <laughs> You dummy. Uh, is, don't talk to the, don't listen to the ventriloquist. Tell them to shut their mouth and stop moving their lips. Uh, <laughs> there is, there is money everywhere. So if you reached out to the six places and you reached out to all six and all six said, yeah, we have money, but you're not eligible. They get ready for the nonprofits because the nonprofits, they do different eligibility. They got the same money as third stimulus, the same items, but they do different eligibility because they're nonprofits. And here are the five nonprofits for you to reach out to. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, and State House Authority. Oh, no, I just butchered that. <laughs> they are United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities. See if you'll see if those if you're paying attention. Uh, those five nonprofits are also really wonderful because they pay for items that the federal government doesn't pay for. They pay for homeless people in the shelters, clothing if you need some clothing. They also help with small appliances like refrigerators, furnaces, uh, heating, uh, heaters, portable heaters. Why? What are they doing? Their focus is a lot of the time to make sure that you are safe and warm, not freezing from frost, and not burning up from heat blankets and things like that. So reach out to the nonprofits. They do incredible things and they have quick turnaround times right now. Those five nonprofits again are United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Meantime, have you become a member? What are you doing? Become a member today. If you saw in this video something you like from that for stimulus and you wonder how do I get that money for the home repairs? Well, as soon as it becomes law, I'm going to show each and one of you how to get those sums of money. That's what the newsletter is for. The newsletter comes out Monday through Friday, 5 p.m., excuse me, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system and the LA Late alert system. The LA Late alert system is totally free. It's at news.la.com forward slash alerts. The member newsletter uh, has in there the big money on the first, second, third stimulus. As soon as third stimulus became law, some people said, where's my, fourth stim my third stimulus check of $1,400? I said, it's coming, but focus on getting the big money on the third stimulus. I can get you at least $15,000. Average for use of this channel got upwards of $40,000 from third stimulus and still are getting the money. So if you haven't 
get the money, watch the videos and get that money today. When Forcimus becomes a law, I'm going to show you how to get upwards of $40,000 as well. And with that, we got a big night across the board. Coming up next is Evening's Countdown, our hit new show. This video will automatically take you there. Then after Evening's Countdown is Street and Stimulus. Sirloin and Jovita later right after that at 8 o'clock. And then we got shows at 9, 10, 11, 30, 3, and 3.30. And I can't wait to see you on the show. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. It's a big evening, and we're just getting started. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Stay here. Stay informed. Stay smiling. And always have a beautiful evening. Be safe. And I'll see you next on Evening's Countdown and tonight's shows as L.A. continues.